What is up, my fine fellows? Right. So let's go ahead and give y'all an update as to what I've been doing. Uh, first off, let me get some bomb crap tabs open because I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing again. Bomb um, crap. Too quick. There we go. Wiki spaces. So, uh, first things first. Uh, if you look into my bag, actually, I guess first things first is uh, there's bunnies around the home. Basically, I, I got some bunnies and uh, I put them in here, and they've been having their ball. They've been mating. Also, I've been slowly picking away at the crystals, and I now have a bit of an overflow. Well, not a whole overflow, but now I'm also starting to uh, add them into my home. At the bottom right of the screen, you can see a purple and dark purple gauge. This comes from these two items, the vis detector and the taint detector. I made these because at some point, maybe in this episode, probably in this episode, we are going to make a... Oh, pickaxe pick, 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 of the core is one thing I want to make. Uh, Totem of Dawn, no. Let's find it, 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 find it. Seven League Boots, maybe the... Goggles are revealing. Okay. Goggles of revealing require thalmometers. This marvelous eyewear duplicates all the functionality of the thalmometer and also allows you to see things that are not usually visible to the naked eye. I think, I believe this is the stuff for the, like... Uh, obelisks and stuff. So there's that. Also, uh, the pickaxe of the core creates a small wisp that will guide you to the most valuable item you can find nearby. It helps you find more crystals. So that's also the reason why I want to make this. What this here, what this is here, this white block here, is called the Totem of Dawn. This will constantly raise the uh, viz charge rate up. So that it's constantly going up a little bit. There's a totem of dusk, which I can show you. That's one of the that's one of the things that was over the over there. That black thing over there is a totem of dusk, and it's sitting on top of a totem of dawn, canceling each other out. And they do respectively add uh, viz or taint to the world. I've added trees to our backyard here because I felt like it needed a little bit of life. They're not in the greatest order of the world, but there's trees now. I like it. Better. Um. Let's see. What else, have, what else have I been doing? I've been fucking around with the ocean a lot. Uh, what I've been messing around with is I wanted to find a way to get a nice, clean, like, ocean hole if you're wanting to hole in the ocean. And what I found out was if you take your zero ring and you hit G, you get ice above you, right? If you then hit C on a fully charged uh, Vulcanite amulet, you will begin to clear out the water underneath the ice. And also, you want to go ahead and pop one of these out so that you can actually see through the ice. A little light in here. You can see that uh, this is clearing out the water. And what you want to do now is you want to hit C and then quickly switch to your zero ring and hit G. Let me set up. And what that'll do is that'll freeze all of the incoming water, and now you have a hole that you can, kinda, you can just kind of mess around in if you want to. You have stopped all the water, you got a nice little curtain going on, and now you can dig here freely. So that's a cool way to do that. Let's see what else I got. Oh! I was going to say, if you look at my bag, you can see that I got rid... I found the crowbar. You know that. I guess you can see that I got rid of almost all of, or all of my uh, red matter. Why? That's because I spent some time, and I finally got... Um, three Omegas ready for uh, action. Now, what I have here is a body stone. This body stone is going to be used for something. It's going to be used for an Omega thing. What does the body stone do? Well, if you put the body stone into your inventory and you turn it on, you can see you saw that it actually refills your, ener your hunger bar, so you don't have to be eating all the time, which is awesome. It's also a part of a component for one of the uh, the gem armors, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, it's part of the infernal armor. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the infernal armor, and for that we need a vulcanite amulet, which I've forgotten how to make, and it's buckets of lava and dark matter. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that first, actually, because we have a bit of time. Also, I went ahead and made it an omega for my own uses, which is nice. 
going to go ahead and do this. I haven't collected dark matter in a while, so... Uh, I think it's three dark matter. One, two, three. Like that, which is nice. Go ahead and pump in the dark matter there, leave that alone. And I need three buckets of lava. <clears throat> what is near bucket of lava? Actually, I'm pretty sure I have a couple buckets. I'm sure, I'm sure I have a bucket with some one of these. For just such a... Oh, I have dark matter there. I didn't, I didn't do that. Funny. I have a bucket of water. Alright, that'll work. Bucket of water. works fine. Bucket of water should be close to... Oh, I can, I can just get buckets. Ah, shit. Six buckets. I need six buckets in total. Uh, pop that one back. I'm, s I'm slowly migrating my one of each kind of item block from my chest to my bag. This might be a problem. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and collect lava using the wonderful, wonderful uh, thing here. I'm still murdering all of these things that I can find because they are still very useful. All right, I have filled up my inventory. Alright, anyways, uh, so we're going to go ahead and spread a little lava, and go ahead and pick up said lava. You can see which ones are the source blocks, because they're the ones that don't have the, like, flowing animation. Alright, there's that. And now let's get rid of that lava. Aim up. You can erase lava with your catalyst. You just gotta be careful not to uh, destroy anything you might need. Okay. So let's make another one of those little volcanic amulets. Oh, no, I did it. Okay, I do have three. I was like, I don't have three, no. Actually, I think I had another one already, but one of these, but that's okay. Whatever. I'll go ahead and burn all these buckets, because fuck buckets. I don't need buckets. Fuck you, buckets. Alright. Can I just put this in here, I wonder? No, okay. I thought so. And now we grab our old red matter armor, and let me go ahead and get the equivalent exchange up for myself so I can actually know what these things do. There it is. Alright. This is a bad boy. And let's do this. The gem armor is... Oh, I need one of the Omegas. There we go. Yes. Nope. Oh, wrong. wrong thing. There we go. This. This. And... Uh, no. This. 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 Did I not do that right? Ah, okay. What can I do? It's odd that it's not working. It is full all the way, right? Yeah, it needs to be full. What can I emulate and body stone? Why isn't my what can I emulate working? <laughs> Fully charged, maybe? That is odd. Yeah, okay, fully charged, I guess. Fully charged. Kind. I'm gonna make sure this is fully charged. Maybe that's... I'm, I'm assuming maybe that's, that's probably gonna be the problem, is that this is... slightly off, just being fully charged, maybe. Uh, what can I feed it, though? I didn't really bring any resources to feed it. So, what? Da da da. Yeah, 51,200,000 is the. 
charge for that. Nothing else. It is red matter armor. It is... I'm sure. I'm looking at the recipes and they're matching up, but... Again, things are weird. I don't know. That's odd. That's shit. Alright, well... That's that. Okay. Well, uh, let's go ahead and also... Well, no, fuck. That's... <laughs> nah. Okay, hold on. Just hold one second. Alright, I hit that little button. And, uh... It should outline exactly what, I, what it needs. I'm telling you. You know, maybe it's because this is on. That actually might be completely it. It doesn't handle states well. So that could very well be the issue here. Yep, that was it. Okay. Uh, it also gives me back the amulet, which I don't really need. I guess I really didn't need two of them, since I only... That was a poor idea. It does. They do return the elements. I just forget about that. So I do have my actual amulet here already. Okay. I don't need this other second Evertide, because there's another Evertide in my inventory. Okay, anyways. Let's put this on. How do we look? Red, red, cool. What does this do? Well, its innate ability is you are invulnerable to fire and lava. Um, so there's that. I can go test that. There's a little bit of, I have a little fire. I have a little lava pit over here, which I have been using to um, destroy items and stuff. There you go. Invulnerability. Tested, proven, cool. Offensive ability creates an explosion around you with C. To activate the offensive ability, you must hit V. And then you should be able to do it. Alright, let's it. B. There we go. I have to hit something that doesn't already have that. Okay. Red matter internal offensive mode disabled. Red matter internal offensive mode active. So if I hit C now. Oh, that's awesome. Oh shit, that was that is, that is epic. I love that. It's small enough, it's not I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, it looks really cool. And that is all that that gives you, actually. There is no movement um, effect on it. So there's that. Let's go ahead and finish up the other armors. So. That's cool. Go ahead and take this off for now. Oh, right. I guess it does give you all that, all that jazz. Uh, just chuck this into this thing. The reason I have the crystals over here is because the crystals will naturally raise the viz of an area, and since I have all of these uh, filters going out, they're constantly releasing taint into the area. And so you can see that the bars for viz and taint are kind of even steven right now because I've been neglecting that. Also, I made this nice little pathway to where I was holding on to the crystals, which is over here now. And I have a little uh, workbench here because I tend to, I tend to get... Eight. I tend to have nine crystals when I come harvest them, and I want to add them here, and so I don't want to have to go back all the way to my house. But yeah. Also, I've actually ran through one crystalline bell already, so I have to make another one. And if you remember that, that is just a glass and a diamond into the uh, infuser. Right. So, next up, let's make the legs. The legs require the omega and two of these swift wolf's rending gales. This one's kind of a this one's kind of a big one. If I remember right, the Swift Wolf was not the easiest thing to make in the world. So. Oh, nope, it was. Alright. I need some dark matter. Oh. Hello. You want to hold on to those zombies, because the, the fucking uh, red-eyed zombies will give you zombie brains that have a chance to get brains in a jar, which supposedly work better, work more, they work better than bookshelves for all things for all things, um, thumbcraft. Uh, okay. Dark matter, I'm going to do 
to buy a cat. And I need four feathers. Four feathers. And then do it to that cat. Actually, I'll need eight because I'm making two of these rings. I'm making two of them. So. And I need to make uh, an iron band, which is... It's been a while since I made one. I need iron and two lava buckets. Well, I need... Okay. Iron. What the fuck? Yeah. Damn it. Wait. Uh, iron, iron. Do I have any iron left, or is it all... No. I don't have any iron left. Testicles. Alright, well, let's go make iron. I'm sure I have them. What am I picking up? I hate... Ah, oh, goddammit. Just burn in the pot. Christ, for Columbus, just burn in there. Uh, da -da -da. Iron. Oh, my, okay, iron. I need one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really? Eight? Eight. Iron. I need eight iron. So, pop it down. Now, uh, close it down. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, do, do, do. that's slightly more than eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. that, we have, I need, this is where I need the buckets of lava, so, I remember if I have more than one bucket, it'll actually make a bucket of lava, so let's go ahead and get a couple buckets in there, one bucket, two bucket, means bucket of lava, and I need two of these, and I'm going to have one in my inventory from now on, because it's nice to carry around the stuff you need so you don't have to carry it around again. Alright, let's go ahead and make the rings. There's one band. I need two! God damn. Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. That, pick up the rest of the decline. That's okay. Whew. Okay. Now take the band and make the Swift Wolf's Rending Gales. Which are the flying ones. In case you don't remember. There's one. And there's those. And then with this we grab the legs. Reminder boots. be this. Oh, I need the one. I need an Omega. There we go. Uh, Quicksilver, if you don't know, we really shouldn't. I'm, I, that was stupid. That was a stupid statement. Quicksilver comes from smelting cinnabar ore, which is this looking thing here. And actually, I, find, I figured out how to do the upgrades, which is, uh, you just hold them in your hand and right-click on stuff. And so I, I applied that one there. And I also applied a Quicksilver upgrade here. And... Let me show you the recipe for that. Quicksilver should be up here. Yeah, it's one of the ones I use, so I try to keep it somewhat organized. Stone slab, a little bit of ore, and a vapor's crystal. And that increases the speed, which is what I wanted for the uh, one that re-energizes the crystals. Okay. Pop it back up there. Uh, let's, not forget what, let's not forget what the goal is here. I will tell you, I think I can show you guys. I'll tell, you how you, I'll, I'll tell you how you guys how to make the taint and lose the textures in a second. Uh, let's finish this up first. So, uh, boots, Klein, swift gale, swift gale. Hurricane boots. What do these do? Well, I might as well equip that. I might as well equip the uh, helmet too. My keep the going. There we go. Innate ability of Hurricane boots. Immune to fall damage while not sprinting. So, while I'm not sprinting, I'm apparently immune to uh, fall damage. Which is an interesting idea that immune to fall damage while not sprinting. So while I'm sprinting, I am immune to fall damage? That's odd. How can I test this? I think that would hurt me, right? Yeah, that would hurt. Okay. 
uh, offensive of these. There is no offense to the her hurricane boots. There is a movement though, which can be readied by hitting G. There you go. And quickly ascend by holding space, always sprint while on the ground. So it's basically I can I'm always sprinting now, which is cool. There we go. This is hold on, let's go. This is the set around. That's that's me sprinting. Right? And this is me walking. And when you turn on, yeah, alright. And the boots let you fly. Now, it's not exactly a hold, uh, just hit space once and you're up in the air. It's, it's sort of like the, a super jump from City of Heroes where while you're holding space, you'll go up. As soon as you like to stop, you go down. I kind of like it more than Swift Gale, though. It's an, it's an interesting little jump. More super powery than anything else. I feel like there's a limited amount to it, though. Yeah, there seems to be a limited amount to the height. Maybe not. Maybe it's. I don't know. Alright. So that's that. I'm gonna keep these, anyways. Final thing to make are the gravity greaves. Now these require something you guys haven't seen because I haven't made it yet. Ah, oh, freaking! I think it's the rain that's messing with my uh, camera. So I'm put a stop to that, and I'm gonna close this out. There we go. So the gravity greaves require a watch of flowing time. What does this do? Well. A watch of flowing time works passively from any space in your hotbar, but not from within your inventory. While holding the watch of flowing time, press the V key to charge it, and press Shift V to lower the charge. It speeds up machines at a set rate and slows mobs near you at the same rate. That watch consumes EMC at a rate derived from some freaking thing. Uh, level 1 is 10% quicker and slower. Twelve, level 2 is 20 and level 3 is 30. Pressing G will cause the sun and moon to move faster also. So there's that. So it also works on machines, which is cool. Alright, so for this thing, I'm going to need a clock. Now, I haven't made a clock before. So, okay. It is gold and a bit of redstone. One, two, three, four. Gold and a bit of redstone. I think a baby just popped out. Yep, that was ba baby bunny. Baby bunny. Alright. Let's make a watch. There we go. This is step one this is the watch. Step two, uh, obsidian. I need two obsidian, two glowstone, and four dark matter. One, two, three, four. Obsidian. One, two, and glowstone. I'm always low on glowstone. At one point, I will make a stack of everything in here, just so I don't have to keep doing that. Okay. Ah. There we go. All right. Another bunny was made. Bunnies they multiply like bunnies. All right. One, two, three, four, and there you go. Watch of flowing time. Let's mess around with this a little bit, I guess. So, charge it up. It's active. So enemies around me should move slower, and the sun should be moving quicker. I don't see the sun. Let's see. Pressing the G key. There we go. See, apparently it's the C key now. Reverse time, which is awesome. And I can just let it go. This actually might be a pretty interesting thing to have around. I may want to keep, may want to hold on to this. Uh, but not now. Now we need it for uh, the final bit of armor, which is the gravity creeps. The last thing we need here is a gem of eternal density. That is the last thing we need. That is made from four diamond, two dark matter, and two obsidian. Two dark matter. 
dose obsidian and four diamonds. Five diamonds. Cinco diamantes. This is the one that sucks up shit in your inventory and turns it into other things. Okay. That'll be the last of that, and then we just have the Omega, the last Omega, the Greaves. There we go. And I guess, oh, is this our body stone? I think so. No. Yeah, that's ours. Um, okay. And so, this last recipe is as follows. Pants, Omega, Gem, and watch. And that gives you, oh my good sir, the Greaves of the Gravity. And now we are all decked out in the ultimate awesome armor of the Cool Exchange, and I think that's pretty much the end. Oh, there's not the end of the Cool Exchange. There's one more thing you can make. There's a couple more things you can make. There is a book, which I'm sure you guys have seen in my recipes. This will unlock all the things in the tablet, so you don't have to actually go ahead and physically find like melon seeds, it will unlock everything for you. And there's that. There's also a pedestal, which you can place uh, some of the items you create, like the clock, and that will have it, that will have that effect be on all the time around that area. Not important stuff. Alright, so gravity greaves. Uh, innate, increase free fall speed with shift key. I don't know how I feel about that. Can't tell if it's quicker or not. Whatever. Uh, offensive. Slow and repel approaching mobs within a five block radius with shift. So, if we go and hit ourselves our V key and hit shift. Oh, okay, so using the. Uh, I, mo I put the movement on using the boots. You hit shift, kaboom. Okay, that is quicker. And there's the explosion. And then there there's the repelling happening. I guess if you actually get closer, you can repel them pretty quickly. So that's pretty cool. And so that is the whole mod. That is, well, not the mod, but that is the rest of the armor that we needed. Boshka. So I wonder how we can shift and, uh, using the explosion makes a really efficient way to dig, by the way. Apparently. I don't know if you guys saw that awesomeness. But, uh, alright. That is that. I'm, I don't know if the armor gets damaged, but... I mean, I would hope it's unbreakable, because making this armor is goddamn expensive, man. Uh, Alright. But I do like it, though. It is cool. I don't know if I'll keep anything up. Oh, shit. I didn't even do that at all. It's partially why I can't be trusted with this armor, because I will hit C every now and then and fuck it up. Alright, so let's go ahead and retire this boy, bad boy. It scares me. Oh, right, I got a bunch of crap. Ah. What is the point of the fire pit if I don't use it? I know I can hear you guys asking that. And I'll tell you what is the point of this. Shut up. Alright, dun 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 dun. dun. Naked. Went ahead and then uh, enchanted a set of gold diamond armor for shits and giggles. The respiration enchantment is always something I wanted. wanted. It increases the time you can spend underwater significantly, too, which is cool. I'll show that maybe later. Okay, that's done. That's that's done. I'm done with that. I don't care anymore. Whatever.
objects of wonder, and all right. So, how did I make the detectors? Well, I'll tell you. You, the, the recipe for the detector is a vis crystal, a compass, and a bit of gold into the infuser, and you get the vis detector. The taint detector is the same thing, but you have to have a tainted crystal. Now, what I want to make is the thermometer, which is the culmination of both of these two things. For that, you need the yellow crystal, the green crystal, a blue crystal, and a red one. And I have all of that. Let's go ahead and pop these in there. One, two. One, two, 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 two. Boom! Okay. Thermometer. And you can see, uh, it's a little bit more detailed. It's, it'll tell you when the taint or viz is rising. Also, if you click on anything that has taint or viz, it'll let you know. 57, 178 viz and 118 taint. Now, we need to make two of these. So you guys are going to see me make another set of these because I need them. So, step one, compasses. We need two more compasses. And luckily compasses I think you can put in here. One, two. Uh, step two is we need gold. We need more gold. We need two bits of gold, and I actually have those in my inventory, which is awesome. And now we need a biz crystal and an unt an untainted one, and we have that too, which is more nice. So, pop gold, pop compass, pop one tainted crystal. And while that goes, we'll actually put these into the recharge slot over here. We get taint detector, pop in a normal vis crystal, untainted vis crystal. And, mom's the word, vis detector. We cannot make the thermometer again, because we're missing the fiery, the yellow crystal. So, let's go see if, by luck, there were any crystals ready over here to be mined. I do have some taint crystals over there, but they're not going to grow ever, I believe, just because the taint, the aura, the viz charge in this area is too much. There's not enough taint. Do I have any yellows? That are split in two. I do not. Damn. Well, let's go ahead and mine the ones that are here. And maybe, if we're lucky, the uh, chromatic crystallizer will actually have made a yellow crystal for us. I think there's another. Ah, uh, okay. Oh. Damn it. Hmm. Well, then I'm going to go hunt for a uh, yellow crystal. Oh, uh, this will be the last thing I do in this episode. So I guess you guys can come with me on my, on my journey to do this. Let's go hunt, hunt ourselves a crystal. Let's go make a daytime first. No, bye. I don't know how to do that. 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 I don't know この木を逃すわけにはいかねえんだ。本当にそうなのかい私には<笑> Alright, oh, that was on that time? Shit. Right, uh, depending on how well my editing skills, I may or may not have to explain myself. If I do, what you were hearing in the background was Bleach, an anime that I like, and I'm sure most of you have heard about it. So, uh, I'm not waiting all the way till daytime because it's kind of close. It's kind of close to daytime as it is, anyways. So we can go ahead and find some stuff here, anyways. And again, I'm running around without armor, which is a very, very bad idea. 
but I'm stupid, so it'll happen. I'm running towards this obelisk because I know that this direct see this area over here has just the uh, there's these there's like these invisible blocks above them. I don't know what they do. Whatever. I'm going, I'm going towards this obelisk thing because I know that's that's chunk that I haven't uh, that has uh, Thompcraft stuff because it has the obelisk. So. And uh, I'm pretty sure I've already done I've already done digging in these areas beforehand, so it does it is interesting. I think there's a tiny yeah there's a, there's a tiny town in here, but I think it's a testificate town and not a milliner deal. Oh yeah, zombies are getting uh, I forgot the zombies get frisky with these dudes. Uh, where is my there it is. Ah, oh, God. I'm sorry. I hate arrows sometimes. Anyways. Uh, let's pick on somewhere that's virgin. Here's a good. So, step one is going to go ahead and clear a little area for us here. That spider had a bad day. And now it's day has worsened. Okay. Now we have a nice little clearing here. Diggy diggy time. Yep. And we'll go ahead and actually have it pick up everything. Uh, hopefully, I won't miss a. Thing. I won't. I don't want. I don't want to miss any crystals. So the way I do this usually is I dig straight down, and whatever comes up comes up. There's one. There's that's what we want. Right there. Uh, Alright. And now we play the game of switching items out until we see the crystal. There it is. Alright, let's, let's, while we're here, might as well switch for a couple more. I usually run this all the way down to bedrock, and then... Uh, yeah. There is a town... Over, uh, and then after I go down one hole, I like to go ahead and continue my excavation in the next uh, section like this. Being very careful not to actually accidentally burn away any of the crystals. Okay. I saw one above here that I don't think I actually quite got. Light. Oh. There we go. There we go. Ooh, green water. Oh, yeah, because it's jungle. Right. Ow, you bastard. Run away. Okay, well, we got the what we came for, which is the. That one. We can say fuck you to that. And go ahead and drop all of this ir ir uh, stuff we don't need. Head back home. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna save you the guys the uh, walk here. How are you guys doing? There is a bit of like a preference for stuff to grow. So I feel like I, I get a lot of the purples and greens, but I don't get a whole lot of like the reds or yellows. So it, it, it does matter where you are, which is weird. But I'm assuming at high enough viz, uh, it'll be okay. And if you're wondering how I've been counteracting all this taint, I've been making those concentrated viz potions and just chucking them everywhere. Um, okay. What are we doing? We're doing this. So, again, uh, this and... Da, 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 wait. Oh, right. Da, da, normal. Red. Blue, red? I have no idea what I'm doing. 
Green, 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 yellow, blue, green, red, yellow, blue, green, red. There we go. That's it. Shunkadakong. All right. Sweet. Now we have our double thermometers, or thermometers, however you want to say the words you speak are up to you. You speak what language you do. Sabadabu. Dooby dooby doo. Okay, double thermometer. Now, nope, oh, wrong recipe. Uh, there we go. I need three leathers. Uh, do I ever have leather? I'm 90% sure I have a leather somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, the rarest. Actually, fuck it. We're gonna. We have this thing. There we go. Should duplicate leather. There we go. Three leathers. And three leathers, and what else? That's the duplicator, by the way. I don't know if you guys remember that. And of gold. A gold ingot, I should say. Okay. And is that a recipe or is that a piece of shape crafting? So, one, one, two, gold, one, two, two, ichi, ichi, va. Alright. So, uh, I gotta please on, I gotta take it. We now have our goggles of revealing. They are revealing things. Alright, we can go ahead and put this recipe away. That looks awesome. <laughs> I will forever wear these. Alright, so the next thing I want to make is uh, Discovery. The core pickaxe thing. I need enchanted wood. I has that. And I need thalmium ingots, which are made from iron. Which I don't have a whole lot of, actually. So uh, I need, I'm assuming I need three iron. So. Do it once. There we go. A duplicator is useful. I don't if you don't want to go do the whole like thing, the thing, the thing. Okay. Into the infuser, we take our three iron and we do put in our uh, vis crystals, and we get that, which is dope as hell. And if we bring back our depleted crystals, put them in here, recycle. And we hit U, and it should tell us how to make the pick. And it is just normal wood, which I am happy about. Okay. Do I has... I have sticks. Do I have wood? Ha <laughs> ha! I always have wood. Okay. Mundo. Nice. Not even three. I need two. I am... I am... I am dumb. I am dumb. I am dumb. Dumb dumb. Boom 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 boom. And there's that. And from here. So, is it infuser or is it in shape crafting? Shape crafting. Okay. That da. That da. And then you could have a hey. And that looks pretty fucking awesome. Alright. There's a wisp. And it is pointing. Yes. Thank you for. Okay, you wanna. Let's try that again. This time, not near my crystals. Oh, 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 where are you going? Whoa. Got a bit of... Okay. I'm going to assume it's again pointing my crystals. We're going to move away from this area. It's got a bit of a kick to it, though. I like it. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Well, actually, first off, step one, put this away. We are wearing the goggles, too. Which is nice. All right. Okay. So step one, go ahead and put the recipe away. And it does... You can see that this actually does have durability. So it might break, but it's not terribly hard to make, which is how much I'm happy about. Okay. And in this new spot, we're going to go ahead and put in uh, the body stone so I can run around. Okay. We're going to go towards Obelisk, because apparently I hear that with, with the goggles of revealing, you should be able to see things that you can't otherwise normally see. And that involves the obelisks. So there's that. Okay, I have to click on a block 
for it to move in the direction it wants to go. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going, huh? Where are you going? Is it going for the ore? Okay, so it is going for these things though. So it is, it is definitely uh Okay. Good. I guess. Whatever. So I can see how that would be useful. That's sort of like uh the divining rod, which is nice. Is it nighttime again? Damn. You know what I haven't found either are silverwood trees, which is supposed to be uh, nice like rare ass fucking trees that you need their wood for certain uh, recipes so that kinda sucks I haven't found any of those also sucks it's starting to be nighttime. Ground, it breaks. So, whatever. I have no idea how it decides to do things. I do like the pick, though. I'm gonna be honest with you. I kind of I like it. It's interesting. It's got a nice break to it on big rocks. Kabunka. Durability seems low. I don't know if the durability actually goes down with me hitting the wisp button. Though. Frame rate suffers a hell of a back, I can tell you that though. Also, that sounds really pretty, so I just like doing that too. Many things. Uh, now, what we can do. Uh, do I have a. I do have it with me. I haven't messed with the lightning in a while. I kind of miss it. So. I do like the lightning. Oh, I guess it's only a minor precipitation. Okay, well, we're getting close to the uh, obelisk, so. That's good. Again, I should. I don't know how this is going to work, but God was revealing. There are supposed to be revealing things. Although it is. Uh, night. Time. It is nighttime, so. It's going to be hard to clear out an area where these guys aren't fucking with me. Da -da -da. I think that's about cleared, huh? Yellow, yellow... Okay. Do I just drop? on there? Ah! Okay. Let's see what happens here. And then blue. Oh, nutty. Okay, see, I'm not wearing armor. So I'm officially not happy about into this like this. Up, 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 up. Oh, 
okay. So far, so far, okay. Um, it's very dark. Oh. Oh. <gasps> okay. So these things will give you, um, stuff. Oh, it's awesome. Okay. So these are all, like, researching things. Oh, that's fucking dope. I was wondering where I would find all these, like, rare-ass fucking-ass fucking things. They're in the obvious. And again, this is all just purely for research purposes. I don't think they actually are used in building anything. I'm pretty sure it's just here to like, hey, this is your stuff you research and you'll actually get a bunch of uh, stuff. That is awesome. Is there anything else in this area that I can mess with? Give me one second. Okay, so, um, these are all... Well, I don't know about them. I'm sure these are like seals. But these are actually called void chests. And what's, what's cool about the void chest... Hit you. Alright, yeah, I have that, so that's okay, I can hit you. I'm always scared to hit you because void interface. Okay, void chests and a void interface. Well, a void chest with a void interface works a lot like uh, the newly added ender chests where you can access stuff from all over the places. So I'm actually, you can actually take these chests with you, and you should, because they are huge fucking chests. And I swear that these were also things. Maybe not. But just looking into this area, it looks really cool. So, Alright, I am glad I came down here, and now we have a bunch of research to do! Oh, amazing. Ow! Goddamn rats! Alright. I'm gonna head back home. See you guys in a bit. Actually, you know what? Got some stuff we gotta do later on today, so we're gonna call this an episode. But we'll see you guys back home, where I will have researched most of this stuff. I'm just gonna put this stuff straight into the research things, and we'll see what I get, eh? Alright, folks, take it easy. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Out.